Hey guys, my name is Vanessa if you are new and today, actually tonight, it is already about 5.15 and I figured I would vlog the rest of the day or night. We have a couple things that we're going to be doing and that I wanted to share with you guys. Typically when I vlog, it is a daily vlog and they're like an hour. So I'm hoping, who knows? I'm long-winded, I like to chat with y'all, but I'm hoping by just vlogging our night, this isn't super, super long. So we are gonna start in the office because that's where the camera was, but now we're gonna go into the kitchen. Like I said, it's about 5.15, so I'm gonna start getting everything out for dinner. You guys are gonna cook with me, and then we're gonna do some more things later on after dinner. Um, it is, did I say it was Friday? It's Friday, so my husband does work Monday through Friday out of the home, and he should be heading home soon. So he'll be home in time for dinner tonight. All right, let's go get dinner. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of picking up in the kitchen before we start cooking. Just a tiny little bit. I've got to load just a few dishes. Um, since it is Friday, I did get groceries and I already put everything up, so I need to put that outside in the recycle, put that up, and then I'm drinking my energy. It's okay. Um, I don't feel like any extra energy and the taste is a little off, but I don't know. I think I'll just stick with my Coca-Cola Zero. Um, just a few other groceries that I have to put up. This is the banana bread and the cookies. I need to put the cookies in a container and I just fed the dogs and I totally should have showed you guys because I always get questions, but what I do for the dog food is they just get a big scoop of their dry food at night and then they get about two normal, like adult, that's in the wrong space, like an adult spoon um, full of that and I mix it into their dry food and that's what they get just to help with their adult tummies um, and all of that good stuff. So let me put this back in the fridge and it's actually in the fridge in the laundry room. Uh, speaking of the laundry room, we are gonna be, I did laundry earlier today and both of them are done, so I need to flop that over, flip that over, but that'll be after dinner. And then while I am cleaning up the kitchen and cooking dinner, I'm just gonna have you guys on like B-roll footage, but I thought I would let you know what the kids are doing. Pearl, what are you watching? Top five best. Top five what? Best. Top five best what? That's what the oh, that's what it's called? Top. Interesting. She loves watching this like, just random, right? Random videos. <laughs> so she's watching something like semi-educational, tripping over Buford. And then Bryce and Rose are playing Barbies up there right in front of Rose's room. <laughs> Bryce, is that Ron? Yeah. From Harry Potter? Ron Weasley? Ron took his pants away, so I have to use shorts. Oh, so you're using shorts. And that's Stacy. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so the little ones are doing stuff, and I'm gonna get in the kitchen. All right, you guys, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Uh, no, not sponsored. I use my own money um, along with credits when I have them, but um, from you guys using the link in the description box, that gives you guys a little bit off, and then it also gives me, I think, the same exact amount, like $20 or something like that. Um, for everybody who signs up. So I've been using Home Chef for a while. I also love HelloFresh and EveryPlate. Those are the three that I go um, 
through for dinners for us sometimes, and some of them I use as supplements to something else. So um, this one is, looks like it's gonna be pretty filling. I do get it in a six serving size, so each bag is worth two. Um, but I wanted to add a meat on the side. So I picked these up. This is something that is just super easy that we like to add, and my kids love any kind of sausage, whether it be turkey, beef, um, bratwurst, hot dogs, they just love it all. So I know this is gonna be a super easy um, addition to this meal, and then it shows it pictured like you're putting the broccoli on top of the risotto, and I'll probably do that for, like the adults will probably do that, but as far as the younger three kids, we'll probably keep the broccoli separate from the risotto, so it's like three separate things. But I'll show you guys everybody's plates when we get them all made up. So I'm just gonna set the camera up, show you guys, this is super easy. All the ingredients come in the bag. I mean, I've done a review on Home Chef before, it's just been a really long time. The steps are super easy to follow, so I'm gonna go ahead and whip up a dinner. Lately, he's been coming in the kitchen if I'm still working on stuff. So he is actually getting the parsley ready for me. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm about to start the sausage, which really you're just heating up water, putting the sausage in with the top on and letting that cook. Um, the risotto is going. I'm waiting for the liquid to be pretty much absorbed. It takes a little bit of time, I'm learning. This is the second time we've had something um, with risotto and it's a pretty time-consuming dish, let me tell ya. Okay, dinner is ready. Mark's working on some of the sausage for the kids. We've got, so there's all the sausage. Here's the risotto, looks so good. It's like a cheesy rice. I like the white wine in it. I feel like that gives it a little bit of a different flavor. Then the broccoli. And then I made up two plates so you guys can kind of see the difference, but they're super similar. So this is how we're making up the kids' plates, which is typically how we do it. We keep everything separate. Um, and then we just start off with a little bit. This is actually more than Bryce and Rose is gonna get. This is Pearl's plate because she is our best eater. I mean, she likes a lot of different things, so um, she might ask for more if she likes this stuff, but Bryce and Rose will probably get like half of this and then they'll eat all their sausage and they'll eat the little bit of the rice and the broccoli that we put on their plate and then that's it. <laughs> so that is a kid's plate and then this is my plate. Um, I was gonna do like ketchup also and dip it but I think I'm gonna mix. I almost think I should have got a bowl. I'm gonna mix my sausage into the risotto with the broccoli and all of that. So yum, I already took a bite, super yummy, and can't wait to sit down with the family at the table and dig in. Okay, dinner is cleaned up. Um, we do have quite a few dishes in the sink because, y'all, we are out of paper plates. <laughs> we are out of paper plates. This is where our stash normally is, and I totally forgot to add them to this week's grocery haul. Bummer. So. 
we've been out for a couple days. So I've been doing filling the dishwasher several times a day. So that is running from lunch and what little I could fit in from dinner. So that's going and then we'll see if I get to these tonight. But in all honesty, they'll probably wait until tomorrow because that's just how I roll. So we got a sink full of dishes, but at least the dishwasher is running and more are getting clean. Okay, so we actually just set the kids up downstairs with some ice cream for dessert. They're gonna get two desserts tonight. Lucky them. Um, so they're doing that and I am up in the game room. Mark is coming up in just a second. We're actually putting together a new piece of furniture for this room. This room is definitely, like I said, a game room, movie room. We have a projector, which I have shared in the past if you guys have been with me for a little bit. Um, and then last time I got questions on this, this is from Ikea. So that's where that bookcase is from. But as far as the furniture, it's kind of a hodgepodge. So we've had this up for a little while and the rug. However, for some reason, the first several weeks I was able to vacuum the rug and then my vacuum just stopped working. I have a Dyson V11, the animal. Um, it just stopped working. So I bought a shark, which is what I had before. And I had it for several years before finally it was just done and I needed to get a new vacuum. So I got this again because I do love it and I like having this one up here because there's more carpet and I like to vacuum up here all at once. Whereas the Dyson does, the battery runs out. It, you cannot vacuum the whole upstairs um, with one charge. So I do like having a corded vacuum. So I'm gonna try it again, but the last time I tried it, it did not work. So I think this rug is just gonna, we're gonna give it to Goodwill. So we're gonna roll this up after I vacuum it, if it doesn't work, and then put together a new piece of furniture. And if you guys recognize this, <laughs> this is actually a set, um, two chairs we had down in the living room. I moved one of them up here along with the little table because we're gonna get different tables for downstairs and Guess I'll let you guys stare at my face while I'm talking instead of the couch and the chair, but, and my grandfather has a piano that was my late grandmother's and it has, it has been hers for years. Um, and she passed away a few years ago and my grandfather is just now ready to let go of it and pass it along to another family member. So I said that I would love to have it. I used to take piano um, as a child, not for super long, I think just about a year, but I knew a couple songs and I would love to teach myself um, some new ones. So I made some room just to make sure before I said yes, I would love it. I wanted to make sure that it would fit in the house and there's a spot for it in the living room. So it's a little bare right now in the living room, but I did bring the chair up here to make room for that. So now the kids have more space, but now the dogs are playing behind me. Where are they? They're there. <laughs> um, but now we need to just do a little bit of rearranging so the kids have some extra spots to play, set up Legos and all that good stuff. So let's kind of rearrange and revamp this room a little bit. Okay, so I am not gonna set my big camera up or anything like that because towards the end of the night the dogs do like to play a little bit and I don't want them to knock it over, but I am going to be dusting. Oh my gosh, you guys, like it's been three weeks, maybe. Yeah, I think about three weeks um, since I've dusted. Is that even showing up on camera? Come on, oh yeah, there you go, look at that. Like I just, I don't dust up here. <laughs> I need to more often. Um, so I'm gonna dust. Vacuum, I'm not going to pick up the kids' toys because uh, that is their job. I'm just gonna shove it into the spaces so I can vacuum. And then after I vacuum, Mark's gonna put this together and I will share that with you guys as well. Okay, so the rug was a no-go. <laughs> so we will be donating that, which is a bummer. Um, but I just walked over it a little bit and I vacuumed, hi Odin. Um, and I didn't feel a whole bunch of anything. So if you guys are new, a little bit of a backstory. Um, this house is 10 years old. Yes, 10 years old. 
and the carpet is definitely original to the house. The carpet is 10 years old um, and it shows that. And for some reason in the game room, when we bought the house, um, the staples are starting to come up, but not along the edges. Like when you normally put carpet in, there's staples along the baseboards. These staples were in the middle of the room um, and I'm pretty sure they've all come up by now. <laughs> So I don't know why they did that. Maybe it was starting to come up for some reason and they just took a staple gun and stapled it down in the middle. Super weird. Um, but if we start to see a problem again, then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the carpet out of this room until we figure out what we wanna do or until we're ready to replace the carpet upstairs um, just so the kids don't get hurt. But the reason we bought that rug, a high pile rug, is so the kids could still enjoy this room. We didn't have to get rid of the old carpet we weren't ready to and they wouldn't hurt themselves because like i said it's just it was just right here in the middle of the room right here so i'm hoping by having furniture here also it'll help a little bit but i didn't feel anything um we're gonna have to let the kids know to be careful if they feel anything let me know and then we'll make a decision on ripping the carpet out or not so i dusted vacuumed put the furniture right here this room is definitely going to be a hodgepodge um probably for a good a good long while because the kids are still younger and this room is gonna constantly be transitioning to what they want it to be and what they need it to be. So for now, um, it's the girls' doll houses because they don't really fit in their rooms really well and that way they can play with them together. And then the electronic stuff for up here. We have our games downstairs. I go back and forth, keeping them downstairs, keeping them upstairs. The reason I have them downstairs for now is because we have a lot of friends who have younger kids and when they get into the games, they get everywhere. And pieces go missing, you guys know how it is. Our kids were like that when they were younger. Heck, they're still like that now. They don't put games up um, unless we remind them to. So by keeping them downstairs in the living room, um, I can keep a closer eye on the games and they don't get messed up or anything like that. So it's gonna be a transition, but Speaking of transitions, we have a coffee table and Mark's gonna put it together. I will have this linked down below for you guys and then I will see. I don't know if I can get a coupon code or not. I'm gonna check, but this was sent to us. We didn't pay for it, but they're not paying me to say anything about it. However, I'm just chatty Kathy. I told you guys. This coffee table matches and that's why I was like, uh, yes, the second they reached out, I noticed that it matched the little shoe bench that I got for the little like mud room, little kid area in the coffee bar. I'll take you guys down there in a second and show you in case you're new, but I need to look it up and see. I don't think it's the same brand, but it matches so well that I was like, oh, that's awesome because if I ever want to bring the one downstairs up here, it'll match so yay so mark's gonna put it together with some help <laughs> this is like buford number two <laughs> he follows us everywhere he likes to be with the adults just like buford so you guys have seen him in a lot of um videos behind the scenes like i think the last time i did a grocery haul his head was popping up on the table and several of you guys commented so yes this is odin so he's our new friend. So Mark's gonna put together this and I will show it to you guys and he'll tell you if it was easy or hard. It looks pretty easy. Yeah, it's I mean, it, easy. it's all metal. Um, and then the top is wood. So he's gonna put that together and I'm gonna take you guys downstairs into our little mudroom area that we made in the butler's pantry so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, Polly just came out of my bedroom and she's not a fan. <laughs> the dogs, okay. So here is the shoe bench I was telling you guys about. So I found this myself on Amazon and I ordered it. And the one up there, I can, I'm pretty sure it's a little different. I'm not, yeah, but very, very similar. So this is where we made the kids little like drop off zone growth chart. And it's um, in the little butler's pantry where the coffee is and everything. All right, you guys, we got some fun stuff going on in here. So Mark put the table together. It looks just like the one downstairs. And we've got the floor pillows on it. And then I am gonna wash the blankets that were up here and then the blankets will go right there. So, what did you think about putting that thing together? That's pretty easy. It's just a two person job because of how big it is. And right. then, um, the one thing that I always kind of hate putting about putting furniture together oh. is they always bring you uh, Allen wrench <laughs> screws. <laughs> and they're just, a, they're just a pain to, to use. I'd much prefer regular screws. Yeah, and every single person, a uh, piece of furniture that we've ever ordered online or anything. I don't know if you guys can see that. It might not focus on it, but it's an Allen wrench and not just a 
plain old screw. I need to cut these off. <laughs> So, it looks good though. I think it's gonna be nice to have in here. And Pearl, what do we have sitting on the new coffee table? What is this? This is Ring Pops, you guys, it's Friday. Happy Friday. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already seen the picture that I posted. And I did wanna thank Bazooka Candy for sending these to us. Um, again, I feel like I'm sharing a lot of brands in this video and, and because I am on social media, I have to say, it's not sponsored, they're not paying me, but they did ask if they could send some ring pops and I was like, absolutely, that would be so fun, the kids love it. And then in the box, they had a bunch of balloons and party hats. So the kids are gonna have a little party of their own up here. We're gonna put a movie on. I think Daddy's gonna pop some popcorn. Hey Rose, do you want to open that? If she can't do it, I can open Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so these ring pops are not just ring pops. They have little activities on them. So let me just show you guys. This is a really cute idea that you can do yourself at home too. Get yourself a bag of ring pops and then just get some little tags and write on them. This one says, cheer on Friday. Make up a Friday cheer to ring in the weekend using ring pop related terms. For example, you're a gem, you rock, etc. Yours says, ring in good news. Take turns sharing accomplishments from the week and reward each family member with a ring pop of their choosing. There's something for everyone. I know that is super small and blurry, but that is such a cute idea. And um, this came actually right before we went on vacation. So we weren't able to do this right when they sent it that Friday, but this is the perfect weekend because you guys are seeing this after the holiday weekend, but it's Memorial Day weekend. So the kids have Monday off from school. They have like a long weekend. It's actually their last week of school next week. And daddy has a day off. We just have a fun, relaxing weekend plan. So this will be fun for them to do. And maybe we can do some of these activities um, later on. So. Thanks again, Bazooka Candy, for sending us these. I know the kids are gonna love Lots them. Of ring pops. <laughs> yeah. This is the next one. All right, kids are on the couch. What flavor did you get, Rose? I got um, blue raspberry watermelon. Yes, blue raspberry it's watermelon. Blended. With it is. With what did you get, Pearl? Watermelon. What color did you get first? Um, sour cherry. But I told Dad he can try it. Then he took it. And he stole it. <laughs> He, he does look like a baby. He loves sour candy. And then Bryce, what did you get? Sam's Pearl watermelon. Oh, you got the watermelon? Is it good? Instead of a blue ring, I got yeah. my favorite color. Oh, it smells super sweet in here. And you guys see the light because, oh, that's super bright. We got the projector on. And the kids are gonna watch the new Scooby movie called Scoob. So we're gonna buy this on iTunes. That's where we get all of our movies. And I told them if they're good, cause Bryce was kind of like, eh, I don't really want to watch it, but I'll watch it. So I told them that if they're good, they can watch two movies tonight and have like a movie marathon before bed since it is Friday night and we're having a Friday ring pop party, right? <laughs> so daddy's gonna pop some, yes, daddy's gonna pop some popcorn. They're gonna watch this and then Mark and I are gonna go downstairs. Okay, well Mark makes popcorn. <laughs> I have to take this load out, which is all Mark and my clothes. This is a load of towels, put that in the dryer and then these are the blankets. There's three blankets that we have upstairs um, that stay in the game room. So I'm gonna get those washed. And then I have some more towels and random things that the kids throw in here. Sometimes if they're outside in the backyard and they get muddy, they throw in their socks or pants or shirts, whatever in there. So I'm gonna do that load before moving on to anything else. All right, towels, yes. Mix load, yes. Laundry's going again. Okay, kids are up there and we're down here. We're watching NCIS. We're at the end of season two. Was that episode 20? Yeah, there's like 21, 22, 23, something like that. Something like that. <laughs> so uh, we've been watching this for how long? At least two weeks, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. We only watch a couple episodes and not even every single night. So 
We'll see how many we get through tonight, but that's what we're watching. Um, I am not eating anything. I might have a piece of banana bread later on. I'm not a huge popcorn fan. I know. Dang. <laughs> so Mark's got himself some popcorn, and then we are going to fold the first load of laundry. These are our clothes. I'm not gonna put these up tonight either. So we're going to bed with dishes in the sink and laundry folded. So yay, thumbs up for me for it being folded. And Mark, he's helping. Um, but they're not gonna be put away. So <laughs> this is what we're doing right now. Oh, and my drink of choice is the blackberry cucumber. I got this in a big pack from Sam's Club. So, so good. Okay guys, we are a little bit into the next episode, episode number two for us, uh, 21, season two. Mark's upstairs getting the kids um, set up with movie number two. I'm not sure what they're gonna pick yet. Um, they're all brushing their teeth right now. And then I am actually gonna be out um, of the house for several hours tomorrow, which is a Saturday. So I need to go ahead and um, edit my grocery haul. Typically, I just go ahead and wait until Saturday morning to edit this, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of the editing done and then try to multitask, edit, and watch this at the same time. Um, grocery hauls aren't that hard to edit because it's not like a whole bunch of extra stuff. I'm not um, deleting the audio and speeding anything up, adding music or voiceovers, anything like that. It's me just showing the groceries. So this is one of the easiest um, videos for me to do. That's why I keep doing them every single week for y'all because um, it's definitely not too time consuming, the editing process. The grocery haul itself is a little bit more than just buying groceries and putting them up because I have to set them out on the table and all that good stuff. So I am going to edit this for a little bit while we watch another episode. Okay, grocery haul is up. I haven't scheduled it yet. I might get on in the morning and do that before I go out but my laptop was about to die. <laughs> so I had to bring it in here so I can plug it in. Um, so we're gonna leave that in here. We are actually on the last episode of season two for NCIS. And the kids decided on Jurassic World. So that's what they're watching. Um, so that is how we are going to end the night. Um, the laundry just finished for that second load of towels. So since I'm done with the, my computer work, Mark and I are going to fold the towels um, while we watch that and the blankets, the blanket load and the towel load, both of those are done. So at least all the laundry is done. It's just those dishes that are going to be calling my name in the morning. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me tonight. I know this vlog was a little bit different. I just had a several different things that I wanted to go ahead and share and then just make sure that it was more vlog style. Um, so if you did enjoy this, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. I would love to have you join our community community and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.